Welcome! In today's video we're going to fix 2nd generation 11-speed Ultegra AT50 but the same process applies to pretty much any 10-speed uh, Ultegra or 11-speed all the way up to uh, latest 105 or even 12-speed GRX uh, that doesn't apply to 12-speed uh, Ultegra and Jurace uh, that's going to be covered in a separate video uh, I'm going to fix uh, or replace a carrier and also I'm going to cover tips and tricks how to fix it, how to service it and uh, what to avoid also, I'm going to show you comparison between parts uh, which are shared and also what's different between uh, Ultegra and Durace. Today, we're fixing front max. Welcome to the A2GP YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to take apart front max, uh, that's Ultegra uh, 8050, so 11 speed second generation. Uh, as you can see, uh, the body has snapped, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a one of spares. So that carrier I'm going to, again, take apart and transplant into this body. And also I will show you how to replace a linkage or actuator arm. Uh, this uh, sometimes snaps, so that's actually one from Ultegra but uh, you can use the one from a uh, 6770 Ultegra, 6870, uh, 8050, 9150, 9070 and also if you're lucky you can use one from a GRX 815 11 speed or the same linkages on a 105 and uh, or 12 speed and also uh, the latest 12 speed GRX. Uh, the main difference between these two linkages is that one is cast alloy and that one is steel, so obviously it's very unlikely, borderline impossible, that's going to snap. So if you get your hands on a GRX or a 12-speed 105, uh, that linkage is going to be much better. Uh, Size-wise, they're exactly the same. The only uh, thing you need to bear in mind is uh, the spring and the little plastic uh, spacer, uh, which I'm going to show you later on, uh, yeah, are slightly different. So, uh, to take it apart, uh, you need a 1.5 millimeter and two millimeters. Uh, for Ultegra, that's two millimeters, but for Durace, that's one and a half. Let's start. So that just slides out. Then you have a Philips. Uh, then this cap is held uh, here. There's a little bit of a double-sided tape, but you can pry it with your thumbs and just to lift it up slightly and that's gonna go So as you can see that's your bolt or screw and that goes in In here Just like that Then you can obviously Just slide it off but beforehand, you have to take the circ clips. And then you can use a knife or you can use just a cable cutters to lift it off. And that nicely slides off. Uh, make sure you clean that nicely. Uh, if you want to, you can obviously leave this cap, but there's, there is no need for that. Uh, make sure obviously that's nice and clean. And if there's any sign of rust, uh, it's better to have a little bit of play than tight fit. And when you put it together, make sure you're going to put some grease on it. So that's going on the side and we're going to clean it later. Uh, with that one, uh, you have a 1.5 millimeter pinch bolt here. And be careful, make sure that's nice and clean and take it slowly. Because obviously if you strip that, then you have to drill it out. So uh, I've loosened mine, just not, not going to embarrass myself in front of you. So that's a pinch bolt and that goes all the way through and I'm going to show you where that sticks. And then obviously because that one is a uh, snapped, I can hopefully just say uh, push it like that. So that's your carrier. Uh, <clears throat> Next thing uh, you can remove because sometimes that gets stuck. So that's a two millimeter Allen. 
and the important bit is you can only take it off this way you cannot undo it to the inside so you have to screw it all the way in so that's everything uh, so with that I uh, make sure obviously because that's now spring loaded uh, the one thing I would do is say uh, So that's your actuator arm, that's the spacer. So uh, if you are using uh, a GRX, uh, you have to use that spacer from GRX. The spring is exactly the same, but as you can see, the thickness of the arm is slightly different. So uh, the same thing goes for if you're using a 10 speed or first generation 11 speed, uh, you have to make sure that uh, when you're using a new actuator arm or from the previous generations, you have to bring the spacers with you. Uh, also, the biggest difference between a 12-speed and GRX and the previous versions is uh, this, as you can see, this actuator arm has a, a pinch bolt hole, that one doesn't. And the reason for that is uh, Shimano in the Infinite Wisdom, instead of making things easier for us, they put a plastic snap ring. And it is a pain, absolute pain to take it off because that snaps in like that and then that's covered by the spring so it's very difficult to take it off so bear in mind uh, you can use brute force but uh, hopefully you're not gonna get in that position because like I said it's very unlikely that's going to snap so uh, apart from that uh, there's not much you can do you can obviously undo that bolt as, as we're here just make it nice and it's good time to service so all the bolts are now taken off. Uh, I'm going to clean that bit, this too. But in the meantime, obviously, I'm going to take off the carry from this uh, mech here. Obviously, that one has a little hole here. So what you can do... Should be enough. As you can see, you can improvise. So again, that's quite dirty. That goes on the side. Same as this spring. Uh, actuator arm may be useful for something else. But <clears throat> I'm going to now install this carrier and replace the broken one. As you can see, there was a bit missing here. Uh, but beforehand, uh, I'm going to clean everything. As you can see, everything has been cleaned. Uh, the one thing I didn't show you is uh, uh, you can take off this bit, uh, just uh, pry it slowly with a flat screwdriver. And that's gonna come off. And you got little bushing here. And obviously that's gonna expose that uh, arm. So uh, when you're servicing, and I would recommend, spe uh, especially if you live in a, a Northern Hemisphere or somewhere wet or salty, uh, I would take apart uh, your front mag at least uh, once a year just to be on the safe side because otherwise these things may get uh, rusty so uh, uh, maybe not you don't have to go as far as this but uh, if you can uh, if you don't have nothing to do uh, highly recommend it so uh, we're gonna put it together a uh, uh, couple of things so this is as I said Ultegra uh, carrier uh, this is Jurace so as I said the only difference is the cutout uh, so you can swap it, obviously, that was a uh, helicoil. Uh, so that's a servo from uh, Ortegra. And as I can see, fits nicely. Same on Jurace. Uh, this is Jurace body. Obviously, it has to fit on, on Jurace. Again. And... Yeah, Drace uh, on the Ultegra fits also. Uh, the one thing you cannot change is uh, the cover. So this is Ultegra top cover. And yeah, that's one, that's the old one. Yeah, uh, so as you can see, this is Ultegra. 
so that fits nicely or will fit when I snap it on but on the Jurace uh, although the main job of this is to obviously provide a uh, pinch area for this a uh, through hole or through bolt so that's going to work but uh, the only way to make it work is uh, that's going to stick up slightly so it's not disaster but it's not perfect fit so uh, if you can live with that don't have OCD uh, you'll be okay otherwise uh, you have to find a donor part from uh, Jurace and finally, uh, that's the cage from uh, Ultegra. So Jurace has exactly the same measurements, uh, no difference whatsoever. Uh, the only uh, difference between Ultegra and Jurace, uh, Jurace has a slightly more machining or less material. Uh, if you look on the JRX or 105, so the cage size and then arm is exactly the same. The only difference is this carrier here. So as you can see, there is a little step, whereas on that one here, it's flat so if you were to put so that's Ultegra on Ultegra but if you were to put a JRX on Ultegra carrier you have to put some uh, washer so it may work uh, but uh, it may be painful so uh, another way to do it is obviously if you drill out this a uh, through bolt or pin and then replace this carrier with with this one but let's put it together So first, we're putting a bolt we took off. I'm just gonna use a little bit of a grease. It's not crucial. That's gonna be washed off anyway. But uh, it makes it easier to assemble. Step two is to put the carrier on. So we're starting with spring. Again, just a little bit of grease. So that's going to provide some lubrication. So that can go like that. So you need to make sure that uh, the arm is like that. The spring is sticking out. Then you put your arm. And that goes through. Obviously then we're going to uh, Put the tension on the spring. Then don't forget to install this part. And again, that can only go from this way. So, a bit of grease. And you can fully back that off. The next step is to engage that spring, but uh, before we do it, uh, you have to take that one off because otherwise it's going to be quite challenging to uh, snap it on in place. So now we've got a free space, so you can grab it with pliers and then push it all the way to the back. Then the same thing goes with this one. And finally, you need to grab this little one and make sure obviously that is resting on the, on the outer plate. Then we putting back 1.5 millimeter pinch bolt. And again, just say when you feel resistance, stop. So that's it for this bit. Then we're going to put a little bit of grease here. That just snaps. Make sure obviously you align everything together and then listen for that click. That's it. Then we're going to install the arm. The bend inwards always goes on the top. Then a little bit of grease here. Then you can pack some grease inside. It's not necessary, but uh, as you hear, why not? Then 
to assemble obviously make sure obviously that goes inside and you got little snap then as you got a little bit of movement you can fully engage that again don't forget about circlip the final bit is to put a cover on then we got a Philips this board which goes here just a little bit of grease then obviously you need to align it in the middle and again pan tight don't go crazy so pretty much uh, so what we have uh, that spring is engaged here that one is here the main one is bit here uh, we've got a pinch bolt inside uh, everything's been lubricated you can wipe it clean the only bit left to do is to test it and that's ready uh, thanks for watching uh, if you have any questions uh, please comment below uh, I hope that I can find some time I'm going to record a repair video of a 105 12 speed and also if you happen to have Ultegra or Jurace 12 speed uh, front mech uh, that is broken please get in touch with me I'll be more than happy to fix it for you or at least attempt to fix it uh, I started fixing uh, one I bought uh, a while ago but yeah uh, as you know there was no uh, tutorials how to do it so sometimes you have to use brute force to attempt fix and in uh, my case it didn't work so uh, i need another one to to fix it but i'm pretty confident uh, i know how to fix it so uh, that's done uh, thanks for watching and uh, until next time